Hi guys! In this video I will do my first Colourpop haul and I will show you a bunch of stuff that I got from Colourpop. I got some face products, some lip products and also some eyeshadows and on my face right now I have some of the products and I will also show you how I applied them on my skin and let's start with the Colourpop haul! I have ordered two times from the Colourpop website and both of my orders came around uh, two weeks after I placed my order and for me this is very reasonable because the company is based in USA. All the products are made in USA, they are cruelty free and very very affordable. Your order doesn't come in this box, it comes in a Colourpop box and this is one of my glossy boxes. In my box there was a small little card and it said Hey love, I can only be happy when I'm with you. XOXO Colourpop. <laughs> so sweet. And there is a cannoli here. What I like about Colourpop is that they always include a small booklet in your order and this is seasonal. In the first page we have an introduction of the company. They have information for every product and also they are giving you tips how to use each product. This is not a sponsored video, I just wanted to test a lot of Colourpop products and that's why I have so many of them. I will show you the products that I have from both of my orders because I have checked online and you can still find the products that I got at Christmas and maybe you will like them. I will start with the eyeshadows and the face products and then I will continue with all the lip products and I will also do some lip swatches. On my eyes today I have the Belle of the Ball pressed powder palette. All the eyeshadows came in this palette. The first eyeshadow is Secrets. This is a very nice pale pink muted eyeshadow which you can use for a transition shade and I have applied it today on my eyes. I have used it also as a transition shade and with my eye blender brush by Essence I have applied it all over my crease towards my brow bone. It blends very nice and it is buildable. Next eyeshadow we have Soft Core and it is a muted pink purple eyeshadow which blends so nice on your eyes and I have used it closer into my crease with a blending brush by MAC. It leaves a very nice pale pink color on your eyes that you don't look like you have irritated eyes. It is a very nice pink color. Spoiler alert! I love the eyeshadows. Next eyeshadow we have Fair Play and it is a muted magenta color and it is amazing. I have used it on my outer part of my eyelid, also a little bit in my outer corner and also on my lower lash line and it gave my eyes such a nice pink color. My eyes look very awake and my eye look, it looks very fresh and summery and I really love this color. It blends very nice with all the other colors that I had already applied and I love this color. I think it will be a very nice color for a smoky eye. So next color I have on the fence and it is a light pink shimmery shade. I have applied it on my inner eyelid and also in my lower lash line. It was the only one that wasn't as intense as I would like to but if you apply it with your fingers it becomes even more intense. It is buildable and that's very nice. Also very blendable. All the eyeshadows are very blendable. This is the only shimmery shade in the palette. All the other shades are matte. I never like pink shimmery shades for my brow bone highlighter or my inner corner. So I have used the Venus eyeshadow from the Naked Basics palette. The palette itself is magnetic here and there is a small hole which you can take off your eyeshadows very easy and don't ruin them, not like the Inglot palettes. And you can always take them out and have other four eyeshadows in here. And they are very well placed in their packaging, as you can see. The only thing that we don't have in this palette is a mirror. If we had also a mirror, this would be the perfect palette. 
Each eyeshadow contains 1.5 grams and you can find all the pressed eyeshadows on Colourpop website and you can mix and match and make your own eyeshadow palette. Next product I have the Knockout Face Palette and it contains a blush and a highlighter. The blush is called Excuse My French and the highlighter is Like To Watch. I have applied Excuse My French on my cheeks and Like To Watch on the highest point of my cheekbones and also on my nose. And the blush is a little darker than my skin tone so I tried to use a very light hand. I'm not a huge fan of gold highlighters but this blends very nice and it doesn't intensify the texture of my skin and it looks very nice for a golden summery party, I don't know, it, it looks very nice. Next we have the Mile High collection and this is the best of Super Shock shadow collection. This is the original formula of Colourpop. And these eyeshadows are in their individual packaging because the formula is more creamy and if you don't close the packaging very well, your eyeshadows will dry out. So be careful and always close them very, very well. And you take them out like this. It's very easy. In this one we have a mirror but I think it's not so handy because the packaging is so bulky and big but it's a beautiful packaging so you can just keep it to store your super shock eyeshadows. The truth is a muted gold shimmery shade and this formula is better applied with your fingers or synthetic brushes and what I usually do is I place the color with my fingers and then I blend it with my brush. Next we have Millionaire which is a warmer gold eyeshadow which is almost see-through and has some gold and uh, purple glitter in it and this is very nice to use it on top of your darker eyeshadows like for example a black smoky eye. This would look amazing on the center of the eye to give that hello eye effect. Next we have So Kish and it is a green eyeshadow with purple glitter in it and it can also be used as a top coat for your eyeshadows. Next we have Lala which is a coppery shimmery shade and it is so luxurious. I have used it in my latest glossy box unboxing on my eyelid and it was looking amazing. Next we have Cricut which is a shimmery purple shade with gold and silver glitter in it and I have used it as a top coat of my eyeshadows in my modern gothic makeup look and I will link it down below in case you would like to see it. And the last but not least from this collection I have the eyeshadow mittens which is a warm brown shade and it's the only one from this collection that it's not shimmery. I have used this eyeshadow in my first get ready with me and I think I have blended it in my crease and it was amazing. This blend very nice and that's all the eyeshadows I got from my Mile High collection. It's time for the lip swatches and I will swatch everything according to their collection so you will see all the colors for each lip bundle and in case you would like to buy the same collection you will see all the colors that you're going to get. It is the first time that I'm doing lip swatches and I didn't want my lips to look dry so I have made my own lip scrub which I used a small amount of honey and sugar. I mixed them together in my spoon and then I applied the scrub on my lips and I think that they don't look very dry today. So I will start with this one and this is the phase 2 mixed finish lip collection and this contains three different lip products an ultra glossy lip, an ultra satin lip and an ultra matte lip. On my lips now I have Happiness in a Bottle by Essence and I will just remove it. And these are the products and this is how the packaging looks. So the first one that I'm going to use is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Card C. In fact, I have, you, I have bought the Phase 2 lip collection with the eyeshadows and they were together $30. 
So the formula is very hydrating. It's not as glossy as I thought it would be, but I don't mind it. I like it that way. I love this color. So beautiful. Next we have Chandelier. I love the name. And this is an ultra satin lid. And this is like a peachy pinky muted color. I think I will love it. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is, this is the color that I love for my blush. I love this color. And this is the first time that I'm using the Face 2 lip collection, so that's why I'm so excited. And I love this color. Ultra Satin Lip is a more hydrated, matte option if you like matte lipsticks. Ultra Satin Lip Formula is not transfer proof, but I prefer it because the matte formula is drying my lips and this is very comfortable on my lips. And let's continue with Fresh Cut, which is an ultra matte lip. That's very nice. I will let it dry to see how it looks. So this is how the color looks when it's dried and it is a very nice muted pink natural color. I think it is perfect for every day. It feels a little drier on the lips but it's not uncomfortable. I will continue with two blotted lip products and I got the Bees Knees and On a Stick and Blotted Lip is one of the newest lip formulas. Create a diffused lipstick look that you can build to desired intensity. And the matte lipsticks are a pain in the to take off. I will apply first on a stick. Ta -da! So let's see if it's easy to apply the product like this. And this is how the color looks with only one coat. And I will apply a second coat. This is how it looks with two coats. I think this is a very nice option for work days that you want a pop of color but you don't want to have something very intense. The other color is Bees Knees. Oh my god, this is so difficult to apply on the lips because of the shape of the lipstick. So this is how it looks with only one coat and it's like a vivid magenta but muted and blotted. And let's see what happens with the second coat. I like the formula, it is creamy and it's very comfortable on the lips. I don't like the shape of the lipstick because it is difficult to apply correctly the product on the lips. Also I don't like that it is very stiff and I have to press very hard on my lips to get the color on my lips. This is the color that I'm wearing right now. It is the Bees Knees and this is on a stick and as you can see on a stick is a red orangey color and let's continue with the Out and About Fall Lippy Bundle and you can still find these colors and and I wanted to show them to you because I'm using them in a lot of my videos and I really like the colors. And in this collection we get two ultra matte lipsticks and one ultra satin. This color is Viper and I have used it in my unicorn makeup look and it looks amazing. So let's see how that looks. It is matte. This looks very nice for summer. I don't know, I like it. And it is a very nice purple color. And let's continue with Times Square. This is a brown pale color. And I like it because it is a little grayish. And the next one that I'm going to wear is Barracuda. And the reason I bought the Out and About lip bundle is because I wanted Barracuda. You can also find all the lipsticks uh, individually, but it was a better deal if I bought it in the bundle. So my lips are very dry right now. I will use Moisturizing Lip Balm by Bird Bees. It smells like honey. And let's continue with Barracuda. And this is how Barracuda looks. 
and it is a warmer dark brown shade very luxurious and I will continue with a mini lip collection this is on a whim and I got it at Christmas and I didn't know that they were so little and when I got them I was like where's my lipstick you sent only half of it <laughs> The formula of all the lipsticks in this lip bundle is uh, Ultra Satin Lip and if you want to test a lot of colors together you can just buy these mini collections and to tell you the truth you have enough product for all year. This is Magic Wand. So this is a neutral shade but I think it has a slight peachy tone to it. Next we have Mess Around. Mess Around is a chocolatey grayish color. It reminds me a lot of the 90s and it looks like this with only one coat and most of the lipsticks I use only one coat. Only the blotted lip products needed two coats. All the other I just apply one coat. Next we have Stad. It looks like a very warm chocolatey purple shade. Let's see how it applies. And this is Barracuda and this is Stad that I'm wearing right now. And as you can see they are pretty similar. So if you have any of these you don't have to buy the other one. Next one we have Tulips. That's very dark. This is a very unique color to me. It is a very dark brown purple shade and I don't have any other color like this. It looks very nice. When you first apply it, it looks like a very dark brown. But after you apply it, you can see that it has a slight tint of purple. And if you like dark lipsticks, you will love this one. And the last color from this collection is Dopey. Dopey is a muted, neutral, purplish shade. It has, I think, a slight grayish tint to it. And I really like it. Next, we have Calypso. And I bought it because of the name, because it is from Greek mythology. And I love this color. I am using it a lot in my videos. I think I have used it in my glossy box of May, but I'm not very sure. I think it was this one. So let me show you the color. I love the color. Calypso is a muted peachy brown shade which I absolutely love. I think it is very flattering for my skin tone and I really like it. And I am left with four mini lipsticks. These are ultra satin lips and these were a gift with my order. I think I paid more than $50 and that was the offer of the day. And if you subscribe to their website, you will get the offers on your email. And let's see these colors how they look because I haven't touched them. And the first color I will use is Strip and it is like a muted peachy neutral color but <laughs> let's see on the lips I have said so many times muted in this video today but almost every color is muted isn't it so this is like a muted caramel neutral shade it is absolutely stunning if you like nude shades but you want a little color in them you will like this one very much it looks very beautiful i will apply freaking frag i think this looks like calypso this is freaking frag and this is calypso if you have any of them you don't have to buy the other one because they look very very similar next color we have prim and this looks like a dark cherry color but let's see how it applies Ooh, nice so this is prim it is a very dark cherry color and it is amazing if you like dark colors you will also love this one it is very unique this is the first time i have this shade and it looks very nice and also it has a slight blue tint to it so it makes my teeth brighter and whiter and that's that's very nice next color i have london fog it doesn't look red on the packaging so this is how london fog looks it is a very nice bright red color and it has a slight blue to it because it makes again my teeth 
brighter and whiter and it applies very nice with only one coat you have a full coverage if you like deep red colors you will like this lipstick very very much i have applied again cut c on my lips and who doesn't love this lipstick it is so girly so pinky i want to take this lipstick to places i want to have it all the time with me and it looks so cute for the ultra satin lip and the ultra matte lip i only needed one coat most of the times you don't have to use a second coat i prefer the ultra satin lip formula over the matte lip formula because it is a little bit more drying and about the blotted lips it is a little stiff but it looks very nice on the lips and when you apply two three coats you get the intensity that you like the eyeshadows look very nice in fact when i was filming my eye makeup for today i had a huge migraine and i couldn't calm down with all the lights in front of me so i slept for an hour and with my eye makeup and my eyeshadows didn't move they look exactly the same so that completes this video i hope that you found my haul helpful and interesting also i hope you like my lip swatches it was so painful to take off each of the lipstick and then apply again and take off again don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!